Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Wandering Wind Church. I am reading out of the Life Recovery Devotional, and today I'm reading Step 1, Day 19. God's Power is the title of our reading, and Isaiah 42, 21 through 25 is our Bible reading for today. Step 1. We admitted that we were powerless over our dependencies and that our lives had become unmanageable. Many of us that believe that God's law is good and that it provides helpful moral standards. We may try hard to be perfect, but find ourselves frustrated. Remember, progress, not perfection. Some of us may be troubled by this, and we probably avoid thinking about it. We try not to feel the shame and guilt that come with violating these values that we've taken as our own. We may pretend that everything is fine with us and focus on another person's addiction to avoid our own inner conflict. Isaiah tells us, Because he is righteous, the Lord has exalted his glorious law. But his own people have been robbed and plundered, enslaved, imprisoned, and trapped. They are fair game for anyone. The people who would not walk in his path, nor would they obey his law. The words translated obey literally mean take it to heart. God wanted his people to take his law into their de- into the depth of their being. This is the part of us where we feel, think, and choose. The law of God is ma- designed to magnify God's righteousness, not ours. We are all infected and impure with sin. When we display our righteous deeds, they are nothing but filthy rags. Isaiah 64, 6. When we are powerless over sin to the point where we become enslaved and unprotected, God wants us to take it to heart. When we allow ourselves to feel and think and choose in response to our own powerlessness, we are on our way to finding God's power, the only power that leads to freedom. Our powerlessness leads us directly to God's power. Isn't that amazing? When we have no power, God's power in us gives us life and gives us joy and gives us hope for today, for tomorrow, for the next day, and for the days to come. It's not that we get power ourselves, but that we trust in God's power in us. You know, I I personally have experience of this. I tried for three months after I'd started attending the life recovery rooms to get better on my own, to to just work through a workbook, uh, read all the devotionals, read everything else. I wasn't getting to step one, though, admitting my powerlessness. It was when I finally admitted to myself and to God himself and to other people in the group that I am powerless. I can't do it, but God can. So I think I'll let him. You know, when I finally got to that point, then that was when I finally saw the fruits of that relationship start to grow. That that hope, that power from God that allowed me to overcome, that allowed me to have victory that I did not have before, that I might not have had for a while for a long while, because God is good, and God gives good things to those who trust him and who love him and who, 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 yes, who actually do what, what he tells them to do, you know, when, when he tells you, um, you know, when he tells you to be, be, be obedient, when he tells you to follow him, you follow you don't just say, eh, well, uh, um, uh, maybe. No. <laughs> when we follow him, when we trust him, when we give up our own control and we trust his control instead, that's when we find peace. That's when we find victory in recovery. And so I want to remind you again, like I do every time, we do not grow or we do not recover by leaps and bounds. That is not the way recovery works, but rather we recover we recover by moments inches and steps we do not recover quickly or slowly but are at our own pace one or the other 
Do not judge your own pace of recovery by somebody else's walk, but rather look back at where you were versus where you are and thank God for the power to be able to walk in that, in that progress. Never seeking perfection, but always seeking progress and always being thankful for that progress. For that is how we gain victory over sin, over addiction, and over ourselves. Thank you so much for supporting this channel, for supporting me through donations, through prayer, and through, through uh, su subscribing and watching. Until next time, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I want to share my prayer for you. I want to share my prayer with you. God, please grant my viewers your peace, your serenity, your love, and your strength as they walk their path of recovery. Wherever they have come from, please allow them to see the steps they have taken away from who they used to be so that they might be encouraged to continue on the path, to be able to be encouraged that they are taking the proper steps, that they are going the right direction because you are leading them. And when you lead, you never lead us astray. Thank you, Lord, for every day of recovery. Thank you, Lord, for every day free of the bonds of addiction. Thank you, Lord, for the support of the body of Christ in these days. It is in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Please pray for me as I am praying for you always that we might both be given strength through prayer. As always, I thank you for watching. And until next time, thank you for taking this journey with me. And God willing, I will see you again soon. Thank you.